Hey guys, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to start building our first level, which means we have to import our tile assets, just our sprite images. We're going to create a couple tile maps for that based on, you know, if it's the ground, so we can add different colliders to the ground versus just the background or maybe the foreground, things you cannot collide with, for instance. Then we're going to set up a tile palette, which is just a grid of tiles that we can actually click on and then paint in our scene view on the tile maps that we just created. So to do that, let's jump back into Unity. And what I want to do is, first of all, is import my tile. So in my assets folder, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Sprites. Now, the way you organize this is obviously up to you, but this is how I want to handle this. And inside of Sprites, I want to create a tiles folder. Now, this is where Unity is going to build my tiles to. When I take the sprites, I can let Unity convert them into a tile asset for me, and I'm going to put those right inside of that folder. But my sprites are all going to go inside of this sprites folder. So now on my desktop and in the downloaded project files that you have, I have Industrial Jones assets, and I just have all of the sprites I'm going to use for this project. And what I want to do is bring all of these in at once by just selecting them all and dragging them directly into Unity and dropping them in my folder. And there they all are. Now, if I were to select all these by holding down Shift and selecting the last one there, I can see they're already on 2D and UI because I have my project set to a 2D project by default. But if that's not the case, you can just select it just like that. And what I want to do is I want to change my pixels per unit to match what I want my uh, what, how I want my sprites to be sized in my game world. So I think it makes sense for my tiles to be one Unity unit uh, in, in size. And to do that, I have to take into account the size of my sprites in pixels. Now I know for some reason these sprites are 70 by 70. I would recommend uh, a, a power of two if you were to make yours. But in this case, these are... Uh, Kenny assets or third-party assets so I'm just using them as they are and I in fact created a couple of my own tiles to go with this or a couple of my own sprites here we the key the door and the ladder top because of the way we're handling this I had to make it a bit differently but these are all 70 by 70 and that means I want to set my pixels per unit since I want one unit to be one tile to be 70 so we have 70 pixels per unit and all I have to do now is apply this to make those changes just like that, pretty simple. So now what I wanna do is in my project hierarchy, I wanna right click 2D objects, and I wanna create a tile map. And it's gonna create a grid object for me and a tile map object for me. Now what I care about doing here is first of all, I wanna name this first tile map my ground. And what I could do is just control D to duplicate that. And I could make one for background, for instance. Or I could make another one for foreground however many layers you want to have here you can go with that and do whatever you would like but in my case it's going to be very very simple so i want to take my ground and that's where i want to start painting my ground tiles but how do i do that so i want to go up to window and i want to find the 2d option here and go over to tile palette now this is going to give me my palette that i can start painting from and i like to just dock this from the default view here next to my inspector and what i have to do is create a new palette first of all and tell it where my palette's gonna be stored. So I wanna call it this palette industrial because that is the type of tile palette I am creating. I'm using my industrial sprites here. And I wanna click create, and I wanna tell it to put this in my tiles folder. And now with the industrial tile palette selected, I wanna take and select all of my tiles and drag them into that palette. And I wanna select the tiles folder for it to use for that, where it's gonna build my tiles out. And this is what you get. Now, in fact, the door that we're using is not a tile, nor is the key. Because we're using a very simple approach to this, I, in fact, do not want to have the door in here. So what I can do is select Edit and the Eraser tool and erase the door. And I do not want the key in here. And in fact, I do not want the saw blade in here. And that's because these items are going to be interactable items in my game world. Now you can have them be interactable. You just have to write or just find a custom brush that allows you to paint, uh, for instance, prefabs in your scene view, which exists. You can find it on the, uh, the official Unity GitHub, in fact. But for this simplicity of the project here, I'm just going to 
keep it very simple and just have my tiles be the static tiles in my world. So now let's just start painting our level. I want to remove this ground object that we have here. And I just want to paint some kind of level here. I'm going to say maybe I'm coming in to the level from the left here. This is going to be the start of the game maybe, or it's going to be a circular game. My idea here with the levels is I can probably come uh, out of this scene here into a scene over here, climb down a ladder, come down this way, go through a door over this way. Now I'm below this level where I can climb up a ladder and I can get to a section to grab a key that I could not get to from up here, but I could see the key, you know, so I know I need to get this key to unlock this door. So I have to come down this way to grab that key. Then I go back around and unlock this door. Then I go over here and do something. Anyway, we're going to lay it out in a similar fashion. So it's going to be like this, this loop of a level here. So I want to come in originally from the left here and we're going to have, for instance, we'll have a key up here and we can climb down this way and go up there and get it. So I'm just going to do this right here and I want to add the ground below that. And just come off a little of that just in case the, uh, the edge bleeds through there. Then we'd have maybe just come over a bit here and then we'll have a gap here for an acid pit. Then we'll have a gap for a ladder and a wall then a platform here. Now I have absolutely no idea where I'm going with this. I want to change this to background because these are not going to be something I can collide with. And if you want to, you can use the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle of sprites and back on the ground, just in case I do collide with these right here and then back to background. Back on the ground here. Let's erase that, that background there. Now we could do something like this. So once you're up here, you're blocked by like a thing of blocks. You can't go anywhere there. So you know the only way to get to this key up here is to come through this door. How do I get to that door? Well, I'll probably go down this ladder and I come up over here and I climb another ladder or whatever. It's completely up to you and that. But this is the idea that I'm working with here. I just have like a roof here. I don't know. And I'm probably going to speed through some of this just, just because it's just, you know, whatever I'm coming up with as I go here. And maybe we'll have a ladder in the middle right here that goes up to a platform up here. And I can have the door that I want to unlock be up here and the key to unlock it be over here. So it's like, how do I get there? Let's bring this back a little bit so we can hide another key over here. And at this point, it's just drawing. It's just drawing whatever you want to draw. 